Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the combinations. So, this topic is the topic right after the permutation or the set of topics about permutations. And yung ating mga links sa mga nauna nating videos ay nasa description box. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. So, yung pinakalaman kasi ng topic natin today, or yung video natin, is first, we will try to differentiate what is permutation and combination. And then, we will do the definition of it. Tapos, we will go through different examples for you to understand well what is a combination. So, basically, when we define combination, combination is a mathematical technique that determines the number of possible arrangements. Again, same with same with the permutation, inaalam pa rin yung number of possible arrangements in a collection of items given a set where the order of the selection does not matter. Order of selection does not matter. Kung ma-remember nyo dahi, guys, sa ating definition of permutation, order is important. While this time, sa ating combination, the order is not important. Sir, anong ibig sabihin nun when you say order is not important? So, meron ako rito kandado, wherein or lock, wherein, alam natin na may mga kandado na can be open gamit yung mga susi or keys, and yung iba naman can be open using digit codes. At ito na nga yun. Gamit yung 3-digit code, is mababuksan natin to. And i-share ko sa inyo yung secret about this. Ang password nito. Ang password nito ay 1, 2, and 3. Huwag yung sasabihin sa iba, please. Okay? Sige. So, gamit yung passcode, passcode na sinabi kong 1, 2, and 3, mabubuksan natin to. Pero, kung gagamit tayo ng ibang passcode, hindi natin mabubuksan yung kandado. So, let me try. Diba? Sabi ko, 1, 2, and 3. Ayun yung passcode natin. So, ngayon, try natin na buksan. Para makita nyo yung uh, katotohan behind this ano, passcode. So, I hope na mag-work siya para hindi ako mapahiya. Yan. Yeah. Sinatro talaga siya. Ayaw. Wait. Yan. Ito. Nabuksan natin siya gamit yung passcode na 1, 2, and 3. And alam natin na kapag hindi ko ginamit yung passcode na 1, 2, and 3, hindi nga siya magbubukas. As sir, what if 2, 3, 1? Hindi pa rin po siya gagana. Sa permutation, ang sinasabi ko rito is that, kung mara-remember nyo from our previous videos, is that permutation, in permutation, order is important. Same with this thing. Kapag hindi tama yung order ng digit codes mo, hindi siya gagana. Kahit nandiyan pa yung mga elements. Sa permutation, when you say 1, 2, and 3, that is different from 1, 3, and 2. Sir, nandiyan naman po yung, ano, yung tatlong elements na 1, 3, and 2. Hindi po. Remember, order is important. And sir, what if ano naman? 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3. Tapos 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. Sa permutation, they are different. Madaan nyo ah. Kasi ang order ay important. So, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 possible permutations. But when it comes to combination, sa combination kasi, They are the same. Ang mga halaga kasi sa permutation is that yung order meron tayo doon. As well as the element. But sa combination, it doesn't care about the, the order of the elements. As long as andun yung elements. Again, sa permutation, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, they are different. But in combination, pare-pare sila. So, I hope na nakuha nyo yung difference about the permutation and combination gamit yung ating illustration. And in the next part of our video, I'll be giving you two different examples about combination. Now, for our first example, we will evaluate a combination. So, given the formula, the combination of n objects taken r at a time, the now for first. Now, for our first example, we will try to evaluate first a combination before diving in to the real problem. So, given the formula, 
The combination of n objects taken r at a time is equivalent to n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. So in number one, evaluate the combination of four objects taken three at a time. So dito, the value of rn is equivalent to four and then your r is equal to three. And using this formula, you can have C of n, r is equal to n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial, wherein you can directly substitute the values in this formula. So this is C, 4, 3, wherein this is 4 factorial over your r, which is 3, 3 factorial times 4 minus 3 factorial. And simplifying this, ito yung magiging 4 factorial over 3 factorial times yung 4 minus, one, 4 minus 3 natin, it will become 1 factorial. And tuloy lang natin solution natin. Yung 4 factorial natin can be factored as 4, 4 times 3 factorial. So bakit di ito muloy? Kasi we can eliminate the 3 factorial in our denominator with the 3 factorial in our numerator. So let's stop na ako dyan. Instead of writing 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Para hindi na umahabing solution natin. So again, we stop the 3 factorial because we can eliminate 3 factorial in the denominator over 3 factorial and then yung ating 1 factorial is 1. Okay? So we can eliminate this and eliminate this. So we have here C of combination of four objects taken three at a time is equivalent to four divided by, divided by one that will give you four. So the correct answer for item number one and or to evaluate this kind of expression is that we have four as your answer. Now let's move on with the main problem. We have here in how many ways can a committee of four members be formed from eight people. So, dito kasi mara-recognize nyo agad, this one is under combination. It doesn't care about the positions ng mabubun yung committee. As long as ilang ways daw ang magagawa nito or ilang possible combinations ng apat na tao ang pwede natin mabuo as committee sa loob ng walong taong pagpipilian. Okay? So, in this case, um, your N is the number of people which is eight and then your R is equal to 4. Kung ilan yung bubuo sa isang committee gagawin mo. Again, your N is the number of people na pagpipilian ng panggagalingan ng four, committee, four members of the committee, which is your R. So our formula here is the combination of 8 taken 4 at a time. And using this formula, that will be 8 factorial over your R. 4 factorial times 8 minus 4 factorial. And continuing this, in, this solution, this will become 8 factorial. And you have your 4 factorial. 8 minus 4 is 4. So this is 4 factorial also. And simplifying this, you can have 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial. We will stop with 4 factorial because we have here a denominator 4 factorial wherein we can eliminate them over 4 factorial. Tapos yung ating 4 factorial is equivalent to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Cancel natin tong 4 factorial and this 4 factorial we still have dito. Sa 4 natin, we can eliminate 8 and 4. Tanggalin natin yung 4, ito yung, magiging, yung 8 natin magiging 2. For the 3, alam natin na 3 times 2 is 6, right? So we can eliminate 6 and 3 times 2. So your, in your denominator, meron ka na lang 1, tama? So multiplying this, you are adding 2 times 7, that is 14, right? 2 times 7, that is 14, times 5, that will give you 70 over 1. Or simply, we have here the answer be equal to 
70. So, meron tayo ngayong 70 weights. Again, let me clarify the, ano, the answer. We have diff uh, 70 different weights kung saan makakapamili tayo ng um, four members of committee mula sa walong tao. So, again, regardless of, of position at kung anong magiging rank nila. So, I hope na natutunan niyo yung ating lesson about the combination and sana yung illustration natin about the difference between permutation and combination ay nakuha nyo rin. So, if meron ka ngayong request or question about this topic or meron kang request na topic na gusto mong pag-aralan natin within our channel, you can comment down below para magawa natin ito at matulungan kita. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye.